Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. And this is a quick tip for making copy prints. You may ask yourself, what is a copy print? Well, you wanna take something like art. I get emails all the time and say, how do I photograph my art? I get reflections and it doesn't work out well. Well, these tips are good. One thing to keep in mind, I think it's great to shoot outside. Bright sunny day, it's even light. You're shooting something flat, hopefully not reflective, because if it's reflective or it's behind glass, you're gonna wanna take it out of the glass in order to photograph it. But the tips I have for photographing this, in this case it's artwork, it's done by Ryan Connors. Some cats, I have six of these. So what you wanna do, ISO, keep it down low. Pretty much as low as you can get it, because if you're gonna make enlargements from it, you want the best quality that you can get. Aperture, in this case, you know how I say shoot wide open? We're not gonna shoot wide open in this case. You wanna keep that around F8, F11. The higher it is, the more depth you're gonna get. It's gonna mean that everything's gonna be sharp. That's as long as you have enough shutter speed and all of that good stuff, because all of the principles still apply. Now, what lens selection should you pick? Should you use a wide angle? Should it be 24 millimeters? Should you use 100 millimeters? Should you use 300? Well, it depends on what you're shooting. If you're photographing something like this, I would use a longer lens. Well, I'd use a longer lens just about the whole time. You don't want to use a fisheye. You don't want to use a 35. You may not want to use a 50 unless you're shooting the DX. You want to use whatever is going to keep all of the lines straight to keep it realistic. If I was to photograph this at 24, which we're going to sample, we'll test it out with this as when I take the shots, you're going to see what's going to happen. So the recommendation is don't use the wide angle lenses. You want to shoot it not so wide. So like a 50, an 85, a 100, a, a 200 millimeter, depending on what you're shooting. If you're shooting something larger, a, a larger work of art like the pizza box, well then you may need a step stool to get up higher. Or you may need to stand it against the wall. Hey look, there's horsies going by. Eric, get the horsies. That's very nice. I like that. Uh, it always happens. But anyway, so here we go. We've got the box right here. If you were to photograph this, and you, you'd still want to use a longer lens. You either stand it against the wall and shoot it, or you back up, you get a really tall ladder and shoot straight down. Or here's another way of doing larger art that's on the wall. Or you get an easel. You stand it up on an easel, you make sure you shoot it straight on, all your lines are straight and you're good to go. So let's get the first person camera shooter on here and let's shoot this right now. I am not gonna need a step stool for this because it's, it's smaller. I'm using the 24 to 70, taking off my glasses. Here we go, 24 to 70, let's shoot it. Actually, I've gotta get everything set. I haven't even set anything yet to make sure my aperture and all this stuff is right. So let's see, 500th of a second F11. This is with 24 millimeters. You can see what that looks like. You can see that the angles are bowed a little bit. It's not the best, so you wanna be careful with that. Also, the light changed, so you're gonna to have to compensate for that as well. Now let's do it how I would actually do this. Oh, and this is probably the only time that I would actually recommend that cropping is going to happen. Because this is square, you're gonna to need to crop it. So definitely do that. Boom, beautiful. Boom. And that looks really good. That's a simple way of doing it. Plus, shooting raw, you can make a lot of corrections later, make your colors pop, make it realistic, make it look the same way as it normally is gonna look. So that's uh, recommendations for that. So we did it at, we've done it at 70, we've done it at 24, you can see the differences. And uh, yeah, if I was to do the pizza box, let's move Ryan's art out of the way, let's shoot the pizza box. I wanna use the step stool in this case. We wanna get as high as we can. And you wanna get straight up over top it. We're actually gonna use live view in this case. Live view. It's the only time I'd actually use live view. It works well in this. So we're focusing. Boom, we took that picture. Let's take a look and make sure we got it right. And I'm not quite over the top enough, but that, you get the point. It's pretty simple. Stay over the top, straight down shooting, and really that, that's gonna be it. it. It's pretty simple. Quick tips for shooting copy prints, your artwork. It's really easy, get outside, longer lenses, low ISO, higher aperture to give yourself more depth. Shoot raw, this is the one time I'm gonna let you crop. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. 
Are you subscribed yet on the YouTube channel? Well, click this subscribe button right here. Also click this box if you want to be emailed every time I upload a new video so you can get the latest video uploads as they happen. And also, if you haven't signed up for the free user's guide, sign up right here, put your name, email address in here, hit send it, you will get a free ebook sent to your email as well as a link to a 60 minute long video on flash photography in the studio that Adam and I created. So please do that and we'll see you.